Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install a Java emulator onto your PSP and play Java mobile games. So since this is a Java emulator, you can run other Java files as well. But I think the mobile games is probably the most interesting for most people. So all of the links are in the description. The first link will be the emulator PSP KVM. So it's the latest update, updated in 2016. And as you can see, it's still kind of popular. 600 people downloaded it this week. So all you want to do is just go ahead and download the emulator. Right guys, so once it is finished downloading, you can just literally leave this website. Now the next link I've got right here is a really good Google Drive page. And basically this guy has put tons of Java phone games all onto one section. So there's loads of um, really good games here and probably some pretty cool games that you guys might not know existed. So there's Atari Legends and stuff like that. If I scroll down, um, Brothers in Arms, Call of Duty 2 is on here, um, Crash Nitro, um, I might, there's also oh, Doom RPG, so if you guys want to download a game, all you have to do is click the file, then right click it and just select download. This is then just going to download it to your downloads folder. But guys, um, Google Chrome is going to say it's like a harmful a virus or something, but guys it's not. Um, all Java files um, are notified as harmful for some reason, so all you want to do is just click keep and that is fine. So I'm just going to get a few games here. Um, there is actually a Spyro game which I want to test because it's kind of interesting. So I'm just going to find that. Here you go, Spyro the Dragon. So I'm just going to download this one as well. And there is also a game here called Zelda. So I'm just going to go ahead and download that. Right guys, so once you've downloaded all the games you want, all you want to do is just head back over to your downloads folder and here is the emulator and all the games. So all you want to do for the emulator is literally just select the file and then do extract here. You can then delete the zip file, go into the emulator folder, right click and then select new folder. And this folder you want to call ROMs um, in all lowercase, just like that. Then head back over to your downloads folder, select your games, right click and then select copy go back into the emulator folder and paste these into the ROMs folder. So that is pretty much it for the PC. You can now go ahead and go onto your PSP right here and just copy this file across to your game folder. So you go guys, that is now finished copying across. So now what I'm gonna do is just disconnect my PSP from my PC and show you guys how to set the emulator up. Right guys, so once you're on your PSP, all you want to do is just scroll over onto your memory card. So just scroll down until you get to the emulator. Here it is, PSP KVM. So you will need custom firmware to launch this. But anyway, all you want to do is just press X to launch into it. So give it a few seconds to load because it does take a while to actually load up this emulator. But guys, once you're on it like this, you want to just scroll up to the first option, which is system midlets. Just press circle to enter that. Then you want to scroll down and just press circle to enter find applications. Then you want to just install from memory stick, so press circle. It's then going to connect to your memory stick and here are all of your games. So you need to install each game one at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and install Zelda first because I'm not actually sure which one, what this game is. So I'm just gonna press circle to install it. So once that's installed, you will need to choose the format that you want to play the game in. So you can pretty much choose any one you want. Um, I normally go for this one right here, Sony Ericsson 480 by 272 but it's entirely up to you. There's even Xbox demo, which is kind of hilarious, but you can literally just press circle to enter into the game. So now the game is just gonna load up. So as you can see right there, I chose the wrong um, resolution, but let me just show you guys that this thing works. So new game and I can move around like this. I, I pretty much chose the worst resolution I could get there, but never mind. I will be trying out another game 
um, because Spyro is supposed to be pretty good on this. Oh, yeah, also this does have full working sound, so it's quite a lot of trial and error with this emulator to um, actually get it to work properly. So guys, now I'm just going to do a test on Spyro. So once you've installed the games, they will actually display here on the home screen. So I'm just going to press circle to boot into it. So I've already selected my resolution for this game. And I think I pretty much got one of the best resolutions you can get. I'm not too sure. Keep in mind, these are phone games for like, you know, kind of small phones. So let me just select English, um, game, resume game. So yeah, it does save your data as well, which is pretty cool. So we are in the game, I have been playing this already, so let's just um, give it a bit of gameplay, so yeah, full working sound and everything like that. You can um, get better resolution than this, it's just there isn't really, um, obviously yeah, it's a phone game so there's not much you can do. But anyway guys, that is how you play Java games on your PSP, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.